Good morning everyone. It's Saturday the 18th of March 2023 and I have a Peugeot E2008 and I went on holiday and I left it at Edinburgh Airport and when I came back it had been delivered by via the valley parking and I was presented with this message on the screen. Software loading on demand dot 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 warning colon system has limited functionality. I thought, how did it get in that state? I have no idea how that happened. So I thought, how do I fix this? So I've done a bit of Googling, and I've found some stuff in Google about disconnecting the battery, etc, etc. I didn't want to go down that route. I phoned Peugeot customer support, who were, let me say, not the best. You'd think, giving them that error message, they'd be able to say, yep, here's how you fix it. No, not at all. They referred you to the dealership. So I went past our local dealer on the way home from Edinburgh Airport. It's in Bathgate, uh, Peugeot in Bathgate. And they were quite helpful. They, they were going to take it in on a Monday coming to do the update for me. Because the fella said it takes a while. Now, uh, I decided to do it myself um, after a bit more Googling. And yes, it's worked for me and my E2008 is back working fine again and it's got the map updates and it's got the the update for the infotainment system as well so I'm just going to take you through um, the steps required to do that so your next port of call will be the Peugeot app and I'm sure everyone's got that installed on their smartphone because it's really handy um, one thing I totally love about it is on a cold winter's morning you can just um, use the app to set the aircon running in your car so when you go out to it all the windows are defrosted and it's nice and toasty hot for your commute to work. But anyway, I digress. You need to go to the vehicle section and it will tell you the updates that you require for your car. And it will send them to you via email. So I've done it again this morning and I see there's a new update. Um, so I'm going to have to update my infotainment firmware yet again. So the email from Peugeot arrives rather quickly. I've done a bit of greying out in this um, just to hide some of my more personal details. Um, but I used the link that says for Windows to download the software updating tool and I also downloaded the activation key and I clicked on the guidance for sat nav updates PDF so that basically takes you how through how to do it all um, so when I did it the other night um, two nights ago uh, it was um, I got the map updates and I got the infotainment updates and um, the Peugeot update.exe application thing that you install um, basically copies them onto a FAT32 formatted um, 32 gig USB pen drive. It takes ages to do it though with all that um, map updates. So um, I'm going to show you the videos of how I did that two nights ago in the car. But suffice to say, I got everything working again, and yeah, the look and feel was uh, slightly different of the the sat nav infotainment bit for an Android Auto. Definitely a bit different. Don't know if I like it as much as it used to be, but it's different. So um, yeah, I'm currently downloading the the new fifteenth of March version because um, if I've been through the pain the other night, I may as well go through the pain again today. I've got to say it did take about an hour to do the map and infotainment updates the other night. I'm sure it's going to be shorter today. So without any further ado, I'm just going to leave you watching the uh, videos that I did the other night. And uh, best of luck with your upgrade. And Peugeot, if you're looking in, your customer support's ridiculous, really. You should have this in a centralised system. I do support as my day-to-day -day job and I would be ashamed if I didn't know what that blue screen right at the beginning of this VT means and how to fix it.
so get your act together Peugeot. Usual disclaimers for this video though, then this all worked for me. Um, if you break your system, um, I don't think I can be held responsible. So, um, anyway, good luck if you're going to do it. Bye. This is the firmware upgrading in a Peugeot E2008 from a USB pen drive, which is of size 32 gig formatted as a FAT32 on a Windows PC and I used the Peugeot update application to download what it wanted for the VIN number of my car and it's taken its time I've got the ignition switched on you can see the, the pen drive flashes now and again so the system is definitely sucking some information off of it and moving along. It was 24 gigs and it took well over an hour to download and write that information to this pen drive and so far it's been about 10 minutes sitting here with the ignition on, the seat belt on, not using the heated seats as per the instructions on the Peugeot website. So, here's hoping. Here is hoping. Oh, it's getting exciting now. It just took a giant leap towards the end. Uh, as I say, I've got the ignition switched on. Oh, oh it's done something. I've got the seat belt on. It's went all quiet. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, that looks better. That looks better. That looks better. Come on, baby. Come on to daddy. Still accessing the drive. Update maps. Yeah, let's update the maps. While we're at it. Europe map. Hit install. Update. Do not switch off the ignition. Or withdraw the USB memory stick. I could be here all night. <laughs> Good job I charged it before um, starting this. Oops. Sitting on. 98% charge. Well, I'm here, I've got to say that 98% charge gets me 166 miles. Sitting in, well, I'm in park, but in normal mode, if I put that into economy mode, it might see 188 miles. Here we can deselect places we don't want and don't need. So let's get rid of Albania, Armenia. Sorry about this. Austria, Azerbaijan. Finland, Faroes, Estonia, Denmark, France, Czech Republic, Cyprus, Croatia, Bulgaria, Bosnia, Belgium, Belarus. Um, I'll leave France actually, and I'll leave Germany, Greece, Hungary, Iceland, I'll leave Ireland, I'll leave Italy. Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Macedonia, Malta, eh, Moldova, Montenegro, Ma I love Montenegro but I'm not going to be going there, I'll leave Netherlands, Norway out, Poland out, eh, Portugal out, Romania out, Russia out, of course, bastards, Serbia, Slovakia, 
Slovenia. Oh, I was at Slovenia. Right on the coast after Montenegro. Uh, leave Spain, take Sweden, Swiss, oh, Switzerland maybe. Turkey, Ukraine, go on the Ukraine. Uh, and we'll keep United Kingdom. So that's gotten it down to um, 7 gigs. So hit OK. Um, God knows how long I'm going to be sitting here for, but uh, I'll let that run. Are we doing our video?